I'm Rocco Stano, and I'm going to say yay again because it is Storymakers on Kid Lit TV. And one more yay <laughs> is because Kat Yay is with us. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you and, for having me. And you have a new book. It's my debut. The uh, Truth About Twinkie Pie. And you're here for our first Kid Lit TV cooking segment. Say again, yay. yay. And guess what we're going to make? We're going to make Twinkie Pie. What else would we make? Yes. It's, it's and, a must. Yeah, and Twinkie Pie uh, plays a very important role in the uh, story. It does. It's, um, in the story, it's a very, very special dessert that these sisters only make once a year. It's, uh, it's from a recipe passed down from their, um, their mother who is their mama who has passed away, and it's, it's very significant in their lives. It's significant to me, too. It was the first recipe I thought of when I was writing the book. And yeah. we're going to make it, and you're going to teach, you're I'm, going to teach me and everyone out there. I'm going how, to gently guide you yes. through the process. Yes, and we have some ingredients here, right? Yeah, so to make Twinkie pie, you need Twinkies. Twinkies. So seven of these, vanilla wafers, which we are going to crush up into, it'll, it'll be about two cups, maraschino cherries, um, instant jello vanilla pudding mix, bananas, melted butter, quarter teaspoon of salt, heavy cream, milk, and I think that's it. We do save the juice from the maraschino but, cherries right. too. Why don't we start with the crust? Okay, let's make a little room okay. here, okay? And we'll move those cherries. Now. And the, the crust is made from? The vanilla wafer oh, cookies. Oh, great. I have two cups of coarsely crushed cookies here, but are your muscles ready sure. to do a little Let's work? show the folks how we okay. actually crush, crush those yeah. vanilla wafers. The, the little trick I like to use, this yes. is we're going to actually make the, um, a little crumb topping. Mm -hmm. uh, what I like to do is put it in a Ziploc bag mm -hmm. so it doesn't make a mess. And so we're going to just toss these in here okay. and zip it not all the way because you don't want the, um, the bag to pop like okay. a balloon. And, and I do like the crumb to be a little bit coarse because it gives a nice texture to the crust. You know, you get those little bites of cookie and you can tell what it's made out of. Okay, so we're going to, you know, you can hand that to that, me. Great. I'm going to put this to the side. Then we need a nine inch spring pan. That's some nice spring pan. Yeah, a spring pan is a great, great thing to have because you see this little clip mm -hmm. here, when your dessert is all done and all put together, you just unclip it and the sides lift right off without disturbing your beautiful dessert you've worked so hard to make. So I, I love a spring pan, I have to say. Okay, so we have our cookie crumbs first. Mm -hmm. And you know what, I'm gonna stir with just a fork because mm -hmm. it's, it's a, you know, it's a very light toss. If you wanna measure out, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. I think I can do yeah, that. Yeah, and sprinkle it in there. I actually think salt is a really nice thing to have in desserts. It just adds a little contrast. I put it in the... In put here. it right into the crumbs. Just sprinkle it in there. Okay. 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 Awesome. You've done this before. I have, actually. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to pour in our melted butter. Okay, let me try to do that, like all around like this. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, and then we can just put that off to the right, side. Right, right. And just stir this until it's all mixed and it's going to start to it's really going to just look like coarse crumbs mm -hmm. and it actually smells kind of good too right it there's does. something about vanilla it, cookies it does and as you're doing it make sure you I hope we have bottom. some uh, wafers left so I could have them with milk <laughs> later but that's yes you know I saved wafers for you oh great thank you okay so this looks pretty good it okay. looks like it's all mixed do you, do you see how it's a little bit moist mm -hmm. now what we're going to do with this mm is if you would like to pour it into our spring pan. Sure, I will. And you can just dump all of it in there. There we go, yeah. yes. Good. But you ready yeah. to get your hands dirty? So we clean hands here, we all started with. What you're gonna do is press it evenly mm -hmm. across the bottom and this is gonna make the crust. Okay, with my fingertips? Yeah, I think so. Okay. There have been Twinkie Pies forever mm -hmm. and there's so many variations of it. This one is one that I made to suit my my need for something that's not too, too, too sweet. Now that you did this beautiful job, okay. we are going to put it in a 350 degree oven. Which we happen to have. Which we happen to have. In this beautiful kid yes. TV uh, yes. kitchen, and yes. And it'll be in there for 12 minutes until it just sort of gets that yummy, toasty taste to it. And then we'll be ready to do okay. the next well, part. do that. I will be okay. right back. Okay, great, thanks. It's time for the filling. Okay. Now, if you could measure for me a cup of cold milk. One cup of cold milk yes. coming up. And put it into this bowl. Use it my left hand, but there you go. Man of many talents. That's true. Okay, and then we're going to use a quarter cup 
of instant vanilla pudding and okay. pop that in there like this. J-E-L-L-O, yes. Jello Instant Pudding. It yes. smells too. Yes. Okay, and this and the cold milk, I'm just gonna hand whisk it until it starts to thicken. So we got a minute there, or two. There we go. So, when did you start writing the book and how did the recipes come to be in this book? Um, you know, actually the idea for the book came up about 15 years ago, believe it or not. My sister was getting married and she asked me to throw her a bridal shower, mm -hmm. but not just any bridal shower. She said to me that what she really, really wanted was for the food to have sort of a 60s suburban hostess vibe. Mm -hmm. So we had jello molds, mm -hmm. we had like little things on a stick, um, casseroles. It was just really, really fun. And afterwards, we sat around and we talked about how, how much fun it was to have this food and how great it was. And shouldn't there be some, a screenplay, because we were crazy about foodie movies, shouldn't there be a screenplay or something like that? I never forgot the idea. And here we are 15 years later. I finally, I finally came up with it. Now, do you see how this is thickened oh, look now? look at that. See the consistency? So, That's this is the first magic. part. Now, why don't you put those to the side and then we will start with part two of our pudding filling. Okay, I think I'm going to need a bowl. Yes, you need a bowl. I'm gonna have you measure out half a cup of heavy cream. Heavy cream, here we go. There we go. Perfect. A nice half cup and, of heavy cream. And if you're ready to operate a little heavy machinery. Okay, this is some super duper <laughs> kitchen aid mixer. I think so. you can handle it. Okay, let's see. First, I think I need to turn it on. Oh, there we go. On helps. And then, we, and then a little. Yeah. There and we go. We're just gonna keep okay. mixing it and incorporating oh a little air. Okay. into it until it forms heavy peaks like a whipped cream. Oh my. You can put it a little lower if you want. Yeah. Well, it looks good. I see peaks there. I, I think do. we have it. You I did think. It. Look at Excellent that. Excellent job. Yes, thank you. And now what do I need okay. to do? Okay, if you can take your handy spatula. My handy spatula. And you're gonna pour that whipped cream in here. I wanna get it all. It looks delicious. Yeah, and well, I work so hard you do. to make this. And come on. But there's no sugar in this whipped cream. No, because you know what? There's a lot of sugar everywhere else in this recipe, okay. so. What do you think? I think it's okay? I think you did a great job. Okay. Do you need this spatula? Well, sure, unless you want to do the folding. Folding, I'm gonna really okay. fold, fold, yeah, like folding. this? Yeah, folding, yeah. It's like sort of a gentle incorporating of the cream in, and you don't want it to, to get sort of dense and heavy, so it's, yeah, that's great. It's just like a light fold like that. Perfect. You know, and you can also scrape along the edges to make sure you get all of it. Beautiful. You've done this before. Uh, sort of. <laughs> Not for Twinkie Pie. Okay, now what do we do? Now I'm going to put this in our fridge. And I'll put this in the sink. Excellent. Oh, okay. and there's that crust. Well, through the magic of Kidlit TV, time has elapsed, our crust has cooked, and it has also, importantly, cooled. Ah. So now when we put all our ingredients in it, they have a nice cool bed to lie down on. Can you guess what it's time for now? Ah, it's time for Twinkies. Yeah, so now the job I have for you is you are gonna cut these in half. Right. And hand them to me, and I am going to line them around our springform pan. Okay, okay. terrific. Oh, well, I'll start. Awesome. Right. And like this, right? Yep. And, you know, when you were writing, you know, the Twinkies almost became a very rare item. Was that a problem when you were writing the book? You know, it's, it's funny that you bring that up because I believe it was right as my agent and I subbed the manuscript that the Twinkies, uh, Twinkie Gate happened. Oh my. Yeah. So well, I didn't know if it was gonna affect anyone's interest in it or if it was gonna be a problem, but well, you know what? Well, I am glad it wasn't a problem because we got to meet uh, Gigi and Didi, a uh, Didi yeah. Delta Dawn yeah. and Gigi Galileo. Galilei. Uh, Galilei, yes. Tell us about those two ladies. Well, they're sisters. Yes. They are nine years, nine days, and nine hours apart. And they grew up in a trailer park in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And they entered an amazing cooking contest, quite like the um, Pillsbury Bake Off, mm -hmm. actually, was what I was thinking when I wrote it and won a million dollars. A which, million dollars, a million that's dollars, right. Which is the actual prize of the Pillsbury Bake Off, and it changed their lives. So they won the Bake Off. Yeah, and it, um, 
Dee Dee, the older sister, who has always wanted the best for her little sister, who was so, so smart, decided to pack him up and move to New York, um, where she enrolled her in a really, really special private school. And she figured this was going to be the thing that changed their lives forever. So, uh, private schools, you have experience with private schools? Um, actually, I, yeah, I went to a boarding school. I grew up in an um, amazing Quaker boarding school that I, I only lived there for the last two years, my junior and senior year, but I went there from kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And was, now what yeah. school was that? West Town Friends in Pennsylvania. Okay. Really idyllic, 400 acres, beautiful, beautiful Do pond. they know that you wrote the book? They do. I'm yeah. going to be there in the spring doing a signing there. Oh, terrific. I'm excited. Yeah. So what's next with the uh, recipe? Okay, so next we're going to do some banana slicing. Okay. So we have two bananas here. If you want to slice those just up into circles, like I think, um, I think I can do that. Yeah, and if if they don't go, you can use a knife and cut the top off. Okay, there we go. Do I hand these to you, or what do yeah, I do? Yeah, you know what, you can toss them in here, and then just I'll toss kind them of, like that. You know what, I'm going to kind of lay them down like this because then it looks pretty. Okay, and I'll you know when you slice into them. Okay, so now you have all your experience oh. with the um, whipping the cream. Are oh. you ready for some more? Sure. Now okay. I think I need my mixer here. Yeah. Uh -huh. A cup and a half of heavy cream. Is the that? student becomes the teacher. There you go. Cup and a half. Put this to the side. Okay. And same thing as before. And that is heavy cream. Yeah. Well, I think we've got it. Yeah, it looks great. Terrific. There we go. Got this open, mm -hmm. and we have our cherries. Yes, this is um, a 10-ounce jar of maraschino cherries. And we have... That's been stemmed and drained. Oh, also, we saved two tablespoons of the juice. Two tablespoons yep. of juice. And for those people out there that have an aversion to sticky red... <laughs> Maraschino cherries, uh, we know that the uh, Luxardo Maraschino cherries are totally natural. They're not as red. They're yummy. Yes. I think it's good. I, I think we got it. It's happening. Okay. Oh, oh cherry puree. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. Everything's just falling <laughs> all over. Okay, so we're going to pour this in here. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it in until it turns the color of what? Now I'm going to quiz you. The lipstick color. Yeah. Yes. Though yes. this actually isn't exactly the lipstick color. Uh, yes. But I, um, I loved that line so much and the whole theme of that in mm -hmm. my story that after I found out how many maraschino cherries it would take to actually look, make this uh, whipped cream the color of cherries in the snow lipstick. Yes. I, I said, you know what, I'm going to just, it's fiction. Now we have this pretty, pretty pink whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And Yay. I am going to go get our beautiful pudding that has been chilling in the fridge. That is the uh, vanilla pudding. This yes. is the vanilla pudding. Yes. And first we're going to take our spatula and then we're just going to mm -hmm. pour it over the bananas. Give it a little smooth to an even layer. Put this to the side. <clears throat> And I think you know what comes next. We put this in, uh, yeah. do we just... Uh, you know what, why don't I hold this? Yes. And you can... Just push it... Uh, push it in. Okay. And we don't want to cover the Twinkies. Okay. We want to kind of keep it in the That's middle right. because it's really pretty when the Twinkies show. Okay. okay. Like now, this. do you remember what we did earlier when you were getting your aggressions out with the... Uh, oh, those cookie crumbs. No. The uh, Nella wafers. Yeah, so yes. now... It's time for these and we're just going to... Kind of sprinkle them on top. Delish. Yeah, it's pretty, right? And why don't you pick your favorite cherry and put it on top? Right. We've got our uh, yeah. organic cherry it's Twinkie pie. pie. That's it. Oh, we could actually put cherries all around. You can pretty uh, much wh do whatever why you would do like. That? that might be fun. And you know, I like the contrast with the pink and I the dark. I actually like yes, it too. Yes. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the fridge for maybe 20 minutes or so till it mm -hmm. gets nice and firm. Terrific. Yeah, we have all these food recipes, but mm -hmm. she has a her recipe for success. success. Yeah. yeah. Which is is pretty simple. I mean, the one ingredient is just basically that Gigi should dedicate her life to studying. She pretty much spends all day and all night being groomed to succeed. 
And it's a, it's a tough thing for a young girl, but it's all she's known. As someone would say, life isn't a bowl of cherries. Yeah. And you have another book oh, coming I out. I do. I have a, um, a second novel for Little Brown that I'm working on, which does not have a title yet. Mm -hmm. and it's another middle grade, mm -hmm. contemporary realistic. And I have a picture book coming out with Disney Hyperion, I think maybe next year, called oh. The Friendship. The Friendship. Yes. Yes. So is it about ready? I think it's just about ready. Terrific. Okay. Okay, let's get ready. We'll put that there. We'll get the cake cutter or pie cutter. And okay. look at that. Voila. Okay, and now we are going to... Hey, it looks scrumptious. It looks pretty. What do you think? I think you should do the honors. I would be glad to. Looks great. Oh, look at that. It looks terrific. Yes, there that's you go. one. And if you want it to come out a little firmer, you can always leave it in the fridge a little longer. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Putting well, in whipped cream. That's it. How Can't can go, go wrong. wrong. Okay. Right, and we'll give that to you. And there's a fork. Okay. And I'm going to and say. Like touch forks. There we go. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. No. There was a, somebody on our cooking show that used to say that. Mmm. My first Twinkie pie. Yep. And the next time you try it, you can do anything you want with it. I've seen recipes with pineapple in it, mm -hmm. or um, some have chocolate in them. It just, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Thank you so much for being mm -hmm. here. You know the truth about Twinkie Pie is? What? It was delicious I'm and glad. it was terrific having you here. It was terrific being here. Thank you so much yes. for having me. Remember, until next time, give a kid a book in any format. Oh, there it goes again, that, oh, and again, and again.